before we get to a Niji Sanji rewind, we need to talk about Niji Sanji in 2024. So let's talk about it. Is advised as today we return to 910 Inc., a recent rebranding of Wachter. the Wachter V2. Be careful of these guys, man. These guys were terrible. For agency, I this Japan based agency becoming it. infamous over the past years, having leaked private information like names and addresses of talents who had tried to leave the agency, alongside also leaking private information of fans. This agency wow. finding initial success fans due to too? making inroads with That's the Spanish speaking. Speaking community, all. but now after having lost 40 plus talents moving into 2024, only six Japanese talents had remained with the agency. And now, as of this past weekend, the agency has lost nearly all of their talents. That beginning with Himeragi Ageha herself sending out this prepared notice in both Japanese and Spanish. This message handedly translated by Hikaru, as we also Shout have further details from a later stream by this talent that go even beyond what you are about to hear. This message reading, I, Himeragi Agiha, am writing to inform you that I have been subject to the following treatment of my office. That including forced to perform work not included in my contract, the amount of staff work was clearly not proportional to the amount of money involved, fearful and high pressure behavior, sexual or power harassment, compulsion to express opinions that were originally not anticipated, and even instructions that prohibited taking prescribed psychiatric medication. And regarding the circumstances that gave rise to these accusations, this talent would further say, until now, I did not have the courage to press charges because I owed my agency the money I needed for my activities. However, I found myself in a situation where I was under mind control of the office management for a lengthy period of time and reached my mental and physical limits. More specifically, I suffered from severe withdrawal symptoms when I stopped taking my psychiatric medication. This led to repeated self-harm and becoming dependent on alcohol. Finally, in March of the year before last, I attempted but failed, and yet was still given the directive order to continue my activities. I now suffer from a conversion disorder and will be Black companies will take everything from you, even your life. And if they don't take your life, you will keep working until you successfully do so. If you are working in a black company, you should leave immediately. Hospitalized in the future because I have difficulty walking and speaking. Because of this, I have decided that it is no longer possible for me to establish a trusting relationship with my office. Regarding the accusations above, we have already consulted with relatives and lawyers and recorded and videotaped everything. In the future, we intend contacting the company through our lawyers, including payment of debts. I am deeply sorry for causing you concern in this way. These may be my last words, but I wholeheartedly love all my fans who supported me until now. This talent later on stream revealing that she had gone through with two attempts, alongside also detailing that Walker had been forcing her to create content on Fantia, that specifically being adult-orientated ASMR content, as she had taken out a loan with Walker to If you sign up to a VTuber company, or any company, and they don't talk about any adult material whatsoever, and then you sign up, and then you end up doing adult-related material, and it's not on, it's not within your own will to do so, it's the company telling you, hey, you need to do this, you are legitimately being pimped out, it's slash prostituted. A hundred percent, you should get a lawyer involved. This is not good at all. This is this is terrible. Adult orientated ASMR content. As she had taken out a loan with Walker to continue with her activities, she had been told that if she did not have the money to pay it back, she could pay it back with with the staff. In addition, this talent had signed a contract in which she had a fixed salary and hours, and with the passage of time, she did not even earn 10% of what she had been earning in the beginning as this VTuber. This talent now opening up her very own Twitter account, that under Chudoku Hera, while at the same time as that information dropped, another Walker talent came forward, that being Nemo Remy Chara. If they're doing it to one person, what makes you think they're not doing it to all of them? 
This is fucking sad. You can't pay us back with money. You can fuck the staff. Bro, what the fuck kind of company is this? Why is the police not involved? information drop another walker talent came forward that being nimu remy charo herself also sending out a message in both japanese and spanish stating i hereby declare that office w has forced me to conduct activities which were not in my contract changing my contract unilaterally and expressing opinion if they change your contract, then your contract's null and void. You should get the hell out of there. ...which were originally not mine because of their coercive attitude. For a long time, I have endured unreasonable pressure and instructions from the office. But recently, there have been instructions to conduct my activities after the end of the contract period that my heart could not support very well. Recently, I have been unable to sleep without resorting to medication. My physical condition has not improved, and I am unable to continue with my daily life. I am deeply sorry to involve of you in this way. However, I decided this for the sake of my future activities and the other members who suffer unreasonableness in the said office. For more information regarding the legal perspective and process details, see Uega Kun's article. And as we have done in the past, in case we get sued or go to court, we have already consulted with lawyers. We will be back, so please wait a little longer until everything is over. This Forget a lawsuit, bro. If they're legitimately sexually assaulting people. And they're going to say, oh, it's not sexual assault. We gave her an option. Bro, you're literally cornering and pressuring this person that not only are they under contract with you, you have legitimately done things outside of their contracts. But uh, their, their contract says they will do this. Null and void. And then you pressure them for sexual favors. You are worse than scum. You are the lowest... Lowest fucking totem of human human being, right next to people that assault children. You are down there with them. They don't need to be sued. These people need to be arrested, tried, and prosecuted to the highest extent of their law. And that's the least that should happen. now opening up their very own Twitter account under Chino Cham. And regarding that individual of Yoega kun that being the recently debuted male VTuber, Tenjo Yoega, themselves debuting with a model originally intended for an English-speaking talent who had left Wachter before debuting. This VTuber on Twitter saying, I have been accused... So even if none of that other dark bad shit happened, now we have a company reusing assets. Showing that they are... Cheapskates. Piece of shit company. Used by the firm W of being in breach of contract, being suspected of directing work outside the contract, and of being charged an unfair penalty of 5 million yen, and having my YouTube channel revoked even though my contract was still in effect. The reason for this is that there was originally a section of the contract that seemed to be incorrect, and in a conversation with a staff member, I told him that I would not do any work outside the contract. That staff member replying, I think you should do the work outside outside of the contract just as I do it too that staff member is an idiot literally an idiot so you're a staff member doing stuff outside of your contract and the people below you you expect them to do the same thing repeated breaches of contract is not a joke this town in their statement further saying this shows that these tactics have been repeated habitually and that the staff speaks as if they're doing things that they should not be doing to people with mind control or mental illnesses. This town then referring to a he, potentially a staff member or the CEO of Walker, saying it can be deduced from this that he is forced to put only yes men around him. This is because he wants to ensure that his misdeeds do not come to public light. This must have been the background for those who got fired in the past for breaking their contract first i have not breached the contract if i had done so i would have already have been fired from the company now the management is desperately trying to figure out what i did wrong and tries to twist it into a contractual breach to terminate me their law firm has also contacted me and said they would sue me they actually sent me an email the 
people in their law firm are also part of the problem. There's no way a lot of this shit goes through them and they don't know anything about it. They're complicit in this as well. They also should be tried and held to the same account as the people that are doing the sexual assaults. I personally believe so. This is a personal agreement of myself. If you don't agree, that's fine. But these people are willingly letting this happen because somebody is controlling them legitimately. Right? They've already said mind control. Some people think mind control is a joke. No, you can legitimately control people's minds if you hold their, if you hold power over them, and especially if you can threaten them. You come, you you've told them if you can't afford to pay the uh, pay whatever, you can have sex with us. That's another form of manipulation because now they have ownership of your body, so they have your legitimate work life, they have your personal life, they have your sexual life. They own you, legitimately. They own you. And the only way out, a lot of people think, end it. This is bad on so many levels. And more people than just Wachter need to be held accountable. The law firm, whoever. A lot of people need to be held accountable. And the sad fact is, a lot of them won't be. So you guys... I need to pay attention to yourselves and your surroundings. Look out for whatever contracts you sign. Look out for the people around. Nowadays, we have the internet, so we have stuff like uh, Glassdoor. Before you sign up to any company, look on Glassdoor. What do people on Glassdoor say? Glassdoor is literally people that worked in the company and they left and they're like, oh, this is my review of the company from working there. If they're not on Glassdoor, look around. Talk to the people that work there. Before I lived in a terrible apartment complex, when I was signing up to live in a terrible apartment complex, a guy talked to me on the side, an OG. He was like, hey man, I'm just letting you know, the place here is not good. They don't take care of the tenants. Blase, blase. They had roach infestation, blase, blase. I knew what I was signing up for, but I was in a desperate need. So I got the shitty, uh, the shitty apartment, right? Sometimes we sign up for shit that we know is going to be bad even when someone lets us know. That doesn't make it your fault. I think knowingly going into a bad situation, you should have an ability and you should have the mental well-being to try and cover your own ass. If you know you're going into a bad deal, do whatever you can to fuck them over. Personal experience, personal. This is just all personal. Someone try to fuck me, I fuck them over. What tries to fuck me over, I don't fuck them over, right? World is a dog-eat-dog -dog place. Tough. ...with a mandate that I contact them, which is bad. It is a threat. I was suspicious from the beginning, but I didn't think that they were this corrupt. This is the appearance of the Office W. I want to continue my activities in the future, and I want to do various things with various people. But this incident happened while I was in the midst of that, and I am filled with despair. However, it is not in my nature to back down and sneak around, so I will continue to fight until the end. It's really sad to think that in the past, there were people who had their contracts unfairly terminated, or were being made to pay unfair penalties out of fear and guilt after being subjected to this kind of thing. We will take responsibility into our hands until the end to bring the darkness of this said office to light and ensure that everyone receives a rewarding ending. In case we are unmasked or go to court, the three of us have already consulted lawyers as we have done in the past. We hope you don't lose sight of us. We apologize for this offensive post. This town ending their statement with we will never lose as they can be found on their brand new Twitter account, Come on, Buddha. I want to pay attention to this to this case personally. I want to pay real close attention to this. Come on, Here's the account. Here's the link if anybody wants to follow them.
And now bringing us over to the fourth talent, Kobe Ururu, directing viewers to the previous three statements and saying it is incredibly sad that this kind of unreasonableness is allowed. I could not help but raise my voice at the thought that previous veteran members of Wachter also had their contracts terminated because of this type of case. I cannot continue staying with Office W, which causes this much damage to my favorite members. The daily commitment, the jobs I worked hard on, and the time I spent with all of you are all of the important treasures to me. That is why I cannot tolerate what is happening in Office W. This is like an insult to the talents themselves. I will be gone for a while, but do not worry. I promise that I will come back as soon as possible. I am so sorry for writing so badly. This is all. I am Kobe Ururu. The sound opening up a brand new Twitter account under Maro Maro. Now bringing us over to their next to last talent. That being Kumaboshi Mahiru. Not sending out any type of plan statement and instead simply tweeting out what am i supposed to do alongside i have something to report just wait a little longer as we may potentially see this talent also leave walker bring us now to the final talent izuki miyu the first and original talent of walker having been responsible for expanding out the agency to the spanish-speaking community and having gone on hiatus from the agency mid 2023 but now promising a return in march many wondering if the talent behind this vtuber will be the same talent that had left last year as now numerous former members of Wachter have reacted getting here with Axtray Lorraine tweeting out damn it's going down I'm yelling timber the amount of things just from four people imagine the whole company I really wish it goes down also saying damn there's so many things I want to say and remarking on Wachter stating they really are like cockroaches we also have another former member Shura Hiwa recently releasing her very own merch collection with Uwu Market and tweeting out group chat be like another former member of Wachter here stating I welcome all my fellow comrades that share the same pain and suffering we all experienced no matter where they are in the world I'll always be there to support you and further remarking I will be waiting for you another former member Yukini Alwyn echoing all of our thoughts and saying February never ceases to amaze me as our last former member here Ryu Yumiiri would remark I wonder how many children they will make unhappy I hope they get blasted to hell and regarding a fan of Wachter who they had leaked personal information of, this individual now remarking, I hope someday you pay for everything you did to so many people, taking advantage of their emotional vulnerability. A year ago, you threatened me thinking that I would still be afraid. But what you don't know is that I learned not to let myself be manipulated. Wachter's rebranding, originally promising more IRL content by their VTubers, but after the release of this information, changing their profile picture to white text on black and very quickly for our spanish speaking audience we also turn back to the spanish vtuber agency owazu who had recently seemingly lost all of their members now checking back in with one of their biggest talents raccoon alleging that the agency was not paying them for donations sent to them by fans raccoon sharing this screenshot an attempt to prove what this amount was for this payment being for both throat and speech therapy alongside an operation for raccoon's cat raccoon now claiming victory saying paypal proved us right they denied the refund request from the pinkies that being owazu the quote-unquote pink agency and further stating i'll be creating a new kofi to sell cool stuff and this one will be linked to my paypal and next we have an update regarding niji sanji english's kotaka torihime <sighs> chaotic i'm gonna call you up uh Go ahead and discuss it. This is the part, uh, this is part of the stream where we just discuss what the fuck we just learned before we continue. All right, chaotic. What's up, brother? How we feeling? Uh, I feel I am proud that these people are standing up for themselves, and I hope justice prevails. This, at least in this modern world, that it's it's you know it's sad. It obviously this this type of situation is super sad. See you each each and every day you get exposed to the to the real darkness of people, whether it's in a company or or anyone really. Like um, 
I don't know. I'm watching this video and the world is just full of greed. I'd say those are t the two deadliest. The two deadliest sins would be greed and pride, which is the most common thing that you would see in in these companies. I mean, uh, how do you get such a big company? There's only several ways. There's only a couple ways. Sorry, there's only a couple ways to have the tallest building in the world. I love this. I know I love, what you mean. I love that. Uh, what's that called? Um, exam. Not an example. What is it called? This random thing. Like a quote. Well, it's like it's real, but it's. I don't know the word for it right now, but it's like, yeah, there's only a couple ways to have the, the biggest building in the city. You either work for the biggest building, tear down everybody else's building, regardless if you have a, like a three story, tear down all the skyscrapers, technically you have the highest building. Good. Mm -hmm. Build the biggest building, which is the hardest to do. Yeah. Big building the biggest building legitimately is the hardest thing to do. So people would rather take shortcuts to get the tallest building. Whether that's destroy everybody else's, buy into the biggest that's there, work for the biggest that's already there. I'd say the one thing I I would say as this this world is not a dog eat dog world. Because at least for many corporations that it, that would be the case i remember i told you or i, I remember i put it in the discord i was like you know major corporations actually have alliances with each other to make sure that all of them stay up as each of them know what type of person they are and they only want to be associated with with this type of person so i'll make sure everyone around them even if they're direct competitors they'll, they'll stay up uh, one ex one quote-unquote example i can give is uh pepsi and coca-cola or i remember there was someone who wanted to leak from pepsi to coca-cola or was it, uh, it might have been the other way around it was something i heard a while while ago um the competitor told the other competitor, hey, this is what this person's trying to do. Enemy of my enemies, my friend. And, you know, that's that's kind of how it is here, as we can see in, in Wachter as well. Because it's not just the head. It's a multitude of people. Whether it's in the legal team or just lower management or the CEO and the, um, shit, the shitty part is everyone has a story not everybody wakes up and decides hey I'm gonna be a piece of everyone deals with emotions differently whether it's you know whether it's from a childhood trauma or heartbreak or any type of you know thing that can affect you mentally and alter your the way you think every person thinks differently and unfortunately there's people that that see that experience a trauma and give me just a second i'm guessing you were saying experience a trauma and then they like pass it on whether willingly or unwillingly hear that all the time and uh people with bad relationships sons and fathers it's like the dad who was an alcoholic beat my uh, he beat my mom so i hated my dad and it's like the mom's complicit it's like why is the mom complicit because she knew that man before he started beating so what is the thing that made him start beating her and you know, this is from a podcast I was watching. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. 
I'll look for it while I'm talking about the story. But basically, this guy, he, they say, um, you know, their savior, of course, was like Christianity. I took the lesson as uh, apologize first. The son apologized for being a gang member. He's like, Dad, I'm sorry I was a gang member. I'm sorry I was a bad son. And I'm sorry that I just, you know, dishonored the family. And with the son being able to apologize first, that shows who the real man is. Hey, your son is apologizing, yet you're the one that's beating on his mother. And then the father broke down and started crying. He said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I did this. I created you. And then, you know, two people apologizing. There it is. They just mended their relationship and they've had a decent family ever since. Of course, it's not perfect. It's not storybook, right? But that's part yeah. of growing is apologizing, accepting the mistakes and both sides deciding to move forward. It's just learning from mistakes. Um, but yeah. Um, oh yeah. There's, it's fortunate that people can learn from mistakes because unfortunately we, as I was trying to say, um, we do have those people that experience a rough time, a po rough point in their life, whether it's they got robbed or they got their heart broken or something else. And they're convinced that if they don't join that type of mindset, that it'll j they'll themselves get consumed. And in doing that, they, they get a taste of having power over people and realize that, um, oh, what's the word for it? And they, they enjoy it, and they don't learn from mistakes, and they, quite frankly, do not care, because they they experience something bad, they don't want to ex experience anything bad, so they'll step on over anyone else to make sure they don't experience anything bad. And all they, they're they just very self-absorbed, greedy, and prideful. The power with that mindset is, you know, you all those people that you're stepping on or stepping over, maybe they didn't even have any bad intentions for you, but because you thought they had bad intentions for you, you're going to get the jump on them. Unknowingly, yeah. you just created your downfall because that person now has this pain that drove you, you gave it to them. And now they're going to have that drive to get rid of you. You see that in like, this is uh this is the actual podcast. Uh, Michael Francis, uh, this guy's in the moth was sorry, sorry, was in the life, right? This guy, Mm -hmm. He's also in the life. If you look at their background, these guys yeah. are in the life. Scarface, you know, all these people. Some of these are based off real people. Some of them are real people. You know? And yet here are these two guys that were from the life. They're able to sit here and talk about it. Different forms of the life, but they're still here happy now. At least they're alive. In this whole video, you know, he, uh, Johnny, he, Johnny Chang, he gives stories about how you know, him and his friend were going to go rob somebody so they can get some money so they can leave the life, right? His friend goes to the, the driver's side window. He goes to the passenger side window. His friend, boom, 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 dies in his arms. And they just trying to get a lick, right? Yeah. Unknowingly, the guy in the car, he was like, oh, these people are trying to one up on me. And so he was ready. You know, luckily, I don't live that half, that type of life where I have to worry about that. And then it sucks that Johnny had to lose friends and family to learn that that's not a great life. You know, this is why I'm trying to do on the podcast, let people know. Hey. This is, this is very, this, this, that type of story hits home for me. I have a friend who I lost due to a similar thing. Very, very similar. It gang related. Um, or him, my friend, and his entire family was was killed. Um, and frankly, he, him, and it was mostly it was his parents that were in the wrong. Uh, because because of that, obviously, 
the children get involved. Yeah. And my friend gets involved. Him, his little sister, his brother, I'm both parents, know. they're gone. And unfortunately, that's just how it is worldwide. Um, <clears throat> Revenge hits two ways, man. It's two ways. Unfortunately, two ways turn into four or turn into eight. And really, all you have to do is like... It gets to a point where you can't have a conversation, right? If we look at real world politics, how can you have a conversation when you guys have shed blood for literal hundreds of years? It takes with somebody saying, I'm sorry. If nobody says, I'm sorry, both teams will fight to the bitter end until somebody says, I give up. What are you fighting for at the end of the day? It can't be personal survival. Every time you have a kid grow up, there's a chance that they'll die yeah. of violence. But how is it survival? Like I said, the two greatest sins are pride and greed, which is what's most shown when it comes to this type of conversation regarding war and um, gangs and all sort of things. But it starts... I think it starts, it always starts a couple people, a couple people. All it takes is a couple people. As Wachter, how did they start? They have 40 people under them, now they don't. Where did it go wrong? Always a story to tell. Ugh, we could talk about this more in the pod. That's a good, it's a good way to, that'll, we can continue in the podcast. Me and Chaotic do a podcast. Mm. We're going to do a podcast later. Are you going to bed soon? Uh. We can do a pod. Uh, whenever, whenever you got time, whenever you want. Yeah, just let me know. I'll be up. Sounds good. All right. Well, that's Chaotic. Good time. Yep. Hey, bro. All right. Later. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, continue this. So. Kodoka went on hiatus, so let's talk about it. We have an update regarding Niji Sanji English's Kodoka Torihime. Taking to Twitter this past weekend to say apologies for the silence. I saw a doctor recently, and what they diagnosed me with really proved to me that I need time to mentally heal. I'll still upload songs, since those are what keeps my mind off things, but streams will only happen when I'm well. Thanks for understanding. This Niji Ian Liver receiving support from Maria Marinette, saying rest up, Kodachan. If you ever want to play games offline, hit me up. Violetta saying, take care, girl. Please let me know if you need anything or if there's anything I can do to help. Claude Claw Mark replying, take care, bestie. Rainbow Endo giving this hug and even more hugs from Prinana Riagu. As now today, we turn back to Doki Bird. Once again saying, let's keep laughing together. This indie VTuber now crossing the 600,000 YouTube subscriber mark. Now at this time recording, hitting 606,000 YouTube subscribers while also now opening up a fundraiser in her free chat. Doki Bird on Twitter saying, thank you everyone for your kindness. I feel with all of this new attention and eyes on me, I really wish to direct it at something positive we can do together. I've set up a fundraiser on my channel's free chat to support mental health. This is also an open fundraiser, so any channel can join in. I will be doing a charity slash fundraising stream with stretch goals and donor incentives next week. More information will come out soon as I'm still organizing it and figuring out the details. I can't believe you've all donated so much even before I was able to officially announce it. Please remember that you all matter and you are important in this world. As long as we are here together, we can make a small change in this world for something better. I will be offering alternatives for worldwide options soon as well since the YouTube feature is not available to everyone. This particular fundraiser now earning over 28,000 US dollars with still 11 days remaining. Bookabird also on Twitter asking, who are the YouTube Doki Clippers so I can link your channel on my channel and support you guys. There's as below of, on Doki. There's a lot of Doki Clippers, man. Shout out to the Doki Clippers. Y'all doing a great, y'all doing great shit. Doki Bird's YouTube page, we have this Clipper section, just as this talent had had on their Salentatsuki page before their termination. Some of these Clippers turning into Doki Bird Clippers, which could still be seen on yeah, Salen's YouTube page before Niji Sanji had removed all contents on that channel. Doki Bird further accomplishing dreams Garfield which she cart. could not fulfill within Let's Niji go. Sanji, including a Garfield Kart Let's membership go. stream. I'm and confused now why she really wants to play Garfield Kart. I heard that game was bad. Of 
following up with a much delayed collab alongside Phelion, saying I'll be doing a Hot Ones collab with Phelion on Hot her Ones Twitch collab. channel. Submit some oh, topics boy. you want us to discuss while oh, we eat some spicy boy. wings. Oh, yes, boy. they are the, and the spicier the wings, the spicier the questions. Official Hot Ones sauces, by the way, I'm scared. That is yours truly will be collabing alongside Fillion this weekend as L is hosting yet another Who's That VTuber. This set for Sunday, February 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. This will be an interactive game show where Fillion and I will be trying to guess who the mysterious VTubers with voice changers are. This I think you guys should go. Good results you guys should go. As last time I played on L's show, I couldn't even correctly guess Lady. one of the mysterious VTubers was my own co-host, Lady. I heard earlier crazy. tweeting out today. I'm super excited because I have lots of fun, big things planned for the next two weeks. There's so many yeah, things I want to tell you guys that's going on behind the scenes, but I have to be quiet. Everyone watching this video, you guys should go. Go to these. These are like IRL events, man. These are online events. Go celebrate. Go watch. Go have fun. And clip it and send it to your boy so I can react to it. And I need maybe two to three more teammates. Have to be North American and be a Twitch affiliate slash partner. Thinking of using this opportunity to meet more people. Cookie Bird taking part in that Pal World Twitch Rival series this Thursday and man, Friday. Also receiving okay. loads of new artwork to the Doki Gallery. Mochi here saying congrats on the 600k Doki. Here's a yeah, dragon design ready is. for you. Mochi there girl are offering up this girl... That shit kind of look like um, the chocobo. Kind of like a chocobo with horns from uh, Final Fantasy. Dragoon design hoodie for you. Mochi earlier offering up this girl pred squad. We are GPS with Doki further retweeting this That's artwork good. by Kobanans. Good Alongside news, this news. piece by Shaalvi. This illustration by Milk T entitled Little Bird. And this other animation artists. by way of oh. Zaruru. And that's not all as other artists are taking to the Blue Sky app. Mod RBGD Renoir saying Viva La Doki. And now a quick thank you to our viewers. As yesterday, Playboard had our channel at number one in the United States and number three worldwide. And even making me the face of the VTuber category. But stranger things could happen, like SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Starr becoming VTubers for the Super Bowl. Oh, wait, yeah. Chaotic. Chaotic. Bro. Bro, I, bro, I said this. I said, bro, I said companies are going to do the VTuber stuff. I told you, and they did it at the Super Bowl. Oh, man. The world's moving fast, everybody. AI, VTubers. The world is moving fast. The world is moving really, really fast. I get to experience it all. VTubers for the Super Bowl. Oh, wait, yeah, that actually happened. As that'll be all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, as we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. This was a great, this was a great video. Overall, we had some bad. We talked about a lot. Hopefully there were some lessons people could learn from this video, from this VOD. Shout out to the VOD watchers. Shout out to the members only. Overall, I want to say you guys stay safe. Everything. If everything's not good now, it can always get better if you don't give up. If you're not done with the stream. You got more stuff to watch. But this video, I think, is absolutely amazing. You guys have a good night or a good day.